Hi, uh, I'm Adam. <laughs> still, I'm still Adam Olson, um, even after the last year. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? We're ready. Okay. Adam Olson here, MLA for Saanich North and the Islands, and I'm hanging out with Sonia First now, MLA for Tarchin, and uh, leader, leader of the BC Green Party. That's right. And we're here today because actually, you've been leader for one year now. One year. And you know what? The song that is playing in my head over and over again? No idea. I'm still standing. Hey, that's a pretty good song, yeah. actually. And you are, in fact, I think you're doing better than just standing. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. Yeah. We're doing pretty good. In fact, that election last year was kind of a gamble that they might be able to catch us off guard, but you did a good job in the, in the election, and now here we are one year later. So we're doing a quick little video to talk about uh, what the experience has been. So tell me, what do you like most about your job as leader of the third party? You. Oh. What I like most is working with Adam, working with our caucus team, working with the party, working with the constituents, mm -hmm. volunteers, working with all of the giant team that makes up this amazing organization. It's been a gift. Yeah, we're really well supported by a great team, and so that's a great answer. What's the most unexpected thing about uh, the job so far? That's a great question. I'm uh, struggling to think of what's unexpected. I think feeling more rested than I thought I would, but that's also a decision to kind of recognize how important self-care and well-being is for the whole team and applying that as much as possible to ourselves. Yeah, what kind of things do you do? Because this is a really important part of being able to balance the, the mental, emotional, mm -hmm. physical, spiritual aspects of this job. What do you do to look after those aspects of your life? Yesterday I was in the garden. Gardening yeah. really is a big one. Uh, regular exercise. I'm with my wonderful husband, Blaze, my amazing children, walking the dog. So just remembering to also be as well as all of this doing that goes on. What do you like least about the job of being the leader of the third party? How often this thing buzzes at I think I like that the least. Yeah. Uh, just the kind of relentless uh, input and trying to stay focused and clear on what we're working on and what we're trying to achieve and why we're here. Uh, so that's the challenge is balancing all of the incoming with what we're, what our purpose is. So when you were, uh, when you're talking about what our purpose is, what would you say, like how would you capture that for people in just a few words? What yeah. What is our purpose? What is the role of the third party and, and what are we here for? I, I, I like to make charts. I'm sure a lot of you know about this already. Uh, and I made a chart. You do this uh, about your charts. A lot of charts, a lot of charts capture what's going on in here and put it onto something so I can see it. And one of the charts I made last year as we were preparing for our first session was what's the province we want to be a part of building and what, what are the pillars? And those pillars are people's needs are met. We have healthy, vibrant, safe communities. Uh, we have healthy environments because we need that for our well-being, that our water and our air and our soil are clean and safe and that we trust our government and our institutions. Those are the four pillars of a province that I think we're working hard to, to try to bring forward. And that's the driving thing. It's being in service to a future that is healthier and better than where we're at right now. So we're getting close to the fall session of, uh, of this year and we've got number of sessions to go before the next election but what would you say the biggest job that we have ahead that you have ahead as the leader but that we have ahead as a caucus to uh, to get accomplished in the next year but then the next three years after that I really think it is about encouraging the, the government uh, to recognize that we are going to do better collectively when we work together uh, we saw that in the minority government I think we served British Columbia really well and we're going to continue to put ideas and proposals, initiatives, legislation, but also continually hold out our hands and say, we're here to work with you. 
let's serve together. I just have to say, as the member of your caucus and working alongside you, it's been wonderful working with your guidance, your leadership, the vision that you have for the province. Uh, I couldn't think of a better person to work with, so thank you for that. Thank you, uh, I think, on behalf of all British Columbians for providing a strong, stable voice um, for our government and for holding our government accountable. So thank you, congratulations on your first year, and here's to many more. And thank you to everybody for your support, your kindness, your kind words, and uh, we have a lot of work to do together, but I can't think of more important work that needs to be done, and I'm so lucky that I'm doing everything.